squirrels. As you may notice behind me, there's a trash bag. I've been doing some extensive cleaning in my room recently, which is good because I haven't done it in quite a while. So I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff. It's looking neater. <laughs> um, I've gotten pretty much everything that's junk out of my room, aside from the trash bag. Um, and otherwise, it's pretty good. Two things I haven't gotten rid of um, came in the mail a few days ago, and uh, if I can get them, there we go, okay, so uh, these pieces of mail just boggled my mind, okay, so this one was from Camel Cigarettes, and um, it came about the 15th, so 14 days away from my birthday, they sent me uh, this. Keep on doing your thing and make the most of your day. I'm so glad Camel Cigarettes thought of me 14 days before my birthday. I mean, it's one of a few that I'll get, but um, Camel Cigarettes, really? Necessary? Um, I don't smoke. So... Uh, <laughs> That was that caught me off guard a little bit. Um, the next one wasn't a birthday thing at all, but uh, it's this. It's uh, a holiday gift for you, the art of shaving, uh, in New York. Um, and so it's basically you open it up like that, and then like that. And then like that, and then like that, and then it's got a 20% off thing there. So, holy shit, it opens up outward. I mean, most mail does open up outward, but look at it! Holy crap! Uh, didn't expect that either. <laughs> um, that goes straight in the trash, because I'm never going to use it. I got all the shit and stuff I need at the moment, right now. So yeah, um, I've been sifting through blank CDs, uh, looking to see if there's anything on them. Um, if there is, I usually throw it away if I already have the stuff. Most of it's from my old computer when I was taking stuff off the hard drive. Um, I found dozens of pictures um, from my time at Farm and Wilderness Camp um, and the birthday party that I had. Um, forget which birthday party it was, but I had a few friends, uh, two in particular, actually, just two, <laughs> um, and we played pool together, me and my family and my two friends. That was in high school at some point. I have a keyboard over there on my bed. I need to clean it off and then figure out what I'm going to do with it. I have a Christmas card that is unsigned, so I don't have to purchase one Christmas card. Yay. <laughs> Um, so that's over there too, uh, along with a bunch of other random stuff I pulled out of one of my college boxes. Uh, I still have two boxes left that I haven't uh, gotten rid of yet. Um, they're about a quarter full of random junk, and so I need to find a place for them. That's about all that's been going on just now. Um, in about three and a half hours, I'm going to be at the Sunluck, having dinner with my dad and one of his friends, and then we're all going to go to the Obama Theater, Obama, not Obama, um, to watch her play, and hopefully that's interesting. While I was cleaning my room, I found some Architectural Digest magazines that my dad gave me over the past couple months, and it doesn't seem like a lot, like when you're getting them once every month, but when you pile them all up, they actually uh, number quite a bit. So I'm going to find a place for those. Um, maybe sift through them again and mark off pages that I like. Have you ever been sifting through stuff and found something that you like buried under stuff years and years ago? And 
you find this thing and you're like, oh my god, I remember this. Um, I gotta find some place to put this where I'll remember it or something. That happened to me several times uh, while I was cleaning. I uh, found a whole bunch of stuff. I even found the uh, keys to my um, file cabinet. So I can open that officially now that I have the keys. Uh, I used to just be able to like take a piece of cardboard or thick paper and just like move it up um, and that would unlock it for me. But now I have the keys so I don't have to do that anymore. Um, I found shells. Um, that's another thing that I find really weird is that when you're at the beach you kind of you see a really cool shell so you bring it home and then later when you're cleaning up you're like okay I don't need this anymore. So it's kind of like a temporary trophy or something. You just kind of pick it up and then you have it. And then you don't really know what to do with it after that. Um, some people do save it and showcase it, but not me. I'm not much of a saver. Um, I throw away a whole bunch of stuff that, like, has meaning, I guess. Like, I throw away my graduation cap and tassels. Um just because I don't need it anymore. I mean, I'm not nostalgic about it. I don't... I can remember it fine on my own. I don't really need these remembrance items that I have, so... Why bother keeping them? I mean, some people do, because that's their thing, but not me. I'm not, I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> um, found some gloves and shoes and shirts that... I forgot about. <laughs> I do have some laundry to do though because they've been on the floor for several months. Um, so, I mean, I cleaned out most of the stuff pretty good. So, that's good. I will finish that at some point. I don't know when. <laughs> I recently also went outside with my telescope and adjusted the viewfinder on it so that it matched up with what I would see in the telescope. Um, so I'm hoping that stays the way it was because it took about 15 minutes to figure out how I was going to do it. Um, but now it works fine, so hopefully some night when it's not too cold and it's not cloudy I'll be able to go out and check out the stars and stuff see the moon that would be pretty awesome because one time I actually did I without the viewfinder I got the moon in the um, telescope and over the course of about half a minute it would move out of the uh, telescope view um, so that's how zoomed up it was like the entire telescope it's like I don't know how big it is but <laughs> I was zoomed up enough that the moon was the size of the, what I could see in the telescope. So basically I would see it move in and then it would be right there and then it would move out. And my mom was walking the dog and she was coming back so I wanted to show her and she's like, there's nothing there. And I'm like, wait, what? So it was zoomed up so close that I could actually watch the movement of the moon in the sky. So that was quite interesting. Um, Hopefully I'll get to do that again, and uh, maybe I'll use the different um, scope view so that it's less zoomed in or something. Uh, so that was neat. I like that. So hopefully I'll get more opportunities to use the uh, telescope, which brings me to using it tomorrow, possibly. I might be able to take it to the Cleveland Clinic up onto the ninth floor and then look out over the um, city and use the telescope to kind of like look at architecture that's far away that you wouldn't normally see at nine stories high. So like the uh, top of churches and so on and so forth. Um, so hopefully that goes through and will be fun. I've been up for about 12 hours so far. I'm going to be up for another eight at least, probably. So that's going to be fun. 20 hours, no sleep. I am getting tired a little bit right now. 